All great stories start from the beginning. And this is not the beginning. We gotta sell a movie, Jen. Mugen Train made over half a billion during a pandemic, Jen. Too many cooks in the kitchen, fellas. Yeah, we ain't writing this one by committee. That means you too, you Mugen. Where's Jacob? One voice. One voice. Come now. Quiet, Coyote. I said quiet, Coyote! See, if you don't start from the beginning, you spoil the tension and muddle the message. That's not even dramatically ironic. Now this is also not the beginning! What the f***, Bones? <laughs> if you want a story told right, I'll bridge it yourselves. Like we got the money for that. The League's Trust Fund got locked up with all for one. Then perhaps we shall partake in elements from the holy book itself. We can just steal straight from the manga? Go yeah, we're villains, mind. duh! Wow, they really cut a lot from the source material. Imagine what we could do with it, though. Forlorn sigh, our League of Villains, reduced to common looters and murderers. What are you, a Japanese tele-network, mate? Nobody short of a politician or a tax-dependent neat cries over a bunch of dead racists. We really went overboard on the opening credits, didn't we? I was trying to be edgy! Bad as I wanted revenge against those douche nozzles in the Creature Rejection Clan, I didn't sign up to play John Wick, Kimasabi. <laughs> Your Stain cosplay says otherwise, mate. Yo, Stain cosplay says me! It's a literally the Edgeman costume you can buy at Spirit Halloween Shop. I know, because I went as Slutty Edgeman last year. Speaking of holidays... How goes your infiltration of UA? We started a band! And? It was fun! <sighs> the effort is recognized. We haven't got dick done since she was put in charge, Hands. We never accomplished anything remarkable, regardless of who was in charge. Mere red shirts, stormtroopers are we, destined to always miss our mark. You know things are bad when the official guidebooks have your highest stat and tactics. Really? Pretty sure we're all high school droppets. Speak for yourself. I got a bachelor's from Navy. Aw, oh, sick. My dad bought mine from Washington State. And my medical doctorate outranks you all. Now go step it. Single file outside the Dumakin. Huh? Ah, oh, it's the good old duck. Is that one of those Nomu? Those Nomu your grandfather enjoyed using are my beautiful creations. And they come at a steep price. They sent him the bill! Can voice a man in critical care? They call me Nazi, not IRS, darling. So I do have some ethical boundaries. Also, dabby has been borrowing my high ends on your behalf. Dobby? Oi! Me a spot in the Endeavor movie. Yeah, watch it. Yeah, fuck it, mate, but I'm still a career highlight. As repayment, you will babysit my pet, Gigantomachia here, who has become destructively inconsolable since Master All for One's imprisonment. Ooh, he's just like my old monster, Mom! For a bloke hell bent on destroying your life, you sure got a soft spot for pets. And so do I. Who's a bloodthirsty monster? You are? Can you believe Endeavor never let me keep a pet? No. Can't imagine why. Oh, clumsy little thing, aren't they? Any clue how we can calm them down? Ah, oh, gross! Like me, Gigantomachia rejected their humanity long ago. You can't move the inhuman heart, so you must make it submit. Complete this test, and maybe I'll allow your filthy hands to command my beautiful creations. Standard texting phase apply. Adorable! And a nigh unstoppable weapon of mass destruction? And all we gotta do is housebreak him. You've got yourself a deal, Dr. Holocaust. Whoa! Whoa dude! His name's actually Dr. Holocaust? I like a good human oven as much as the next bloke. But it's gotta be an indiscriminate one. I fail to see the problem. Nobody doubted that, sweetie, but listen, listen! 
Clearly the educational system failed you, bro, for not teaching you why that name's problematic. Imagine you were a Japanese doctor, and your last name was Murata, and here you are committing human rights violations via experimentation! Which I am proud of! As you should, mate. You are a villain! Which is also why I shouldn't care who I offend. Oh, uh, this isn't about offending people, Doctor. This is about a lack of self-awareness. That forces a bunch of kids to lecture you in your own domain. You worry we'll harm the market for your... Ugh, charming creations. But you're already doing that to yourself, bro. What is it that you want, Dummerkind? We just want to play with all your monsters. And for you to stop sending us claims. Prove to me that you can responsibly handle Gigantomachia, and then we shall see. Easy, Mo. We'll be done before you can say. You keep telling bedtime story out of order. It's confusing and lame. How about I just take you to a movie instead? Not everyone been in movie theater! Cinema experience not equitable! Your turn with the baby. No way, it's Dobby Shift. Dobby bailed after their first day. Maybe Endeavor was right thinking he was too irresponsible for a pet, but then maybe Dobby had the right idea of bailing. Aww. What's wrong, Spino? What exactly is the leak's purpose, Toga? Because I'm starting to think that everyone has different ideas. What's your bright idea for the league? Not working with a Nazi, that's for sure. And it hurts you guys never asked me if I was comfortable with that. Because you're a reptile person? Because I'm Jewish. Come on, we're the bad guys. You're right. We could be doing so much worse. But instead, we're shaking hands with the douchebags we pledged to make an example of. That was all for one's league. So what's our league then? During the 30 minutes of business school I attended at Washington State, I learned that every successful team has a shared set of goals and values. If the League of Villains is ever going to be truly badass, we need to have a meeting with PowerPoint graphs and synergy. Well, if my time in Navy taught me anything, it's that I really don't like any structure at all. Happy for you, bro. Is the baby finally asleep? For his monthly half-hour nap? Gosh, time sure flies when you're leveling a mountain with man's best friend. <laughs> What's wrong with the only man scalier than me? I quit. I quit. Oh, I sorry, quit. that's us. I quit. Why did you put I it on my brain like a normal person? What's up, stupid? I've captured your gopher, Giren. Uh, who? The League of Villains recruiter. Who's Chiron? We've been off camera so long, I don't even recognize myself in the mirror. More importantly, who are you? You seriously can't expect me to divulge that. Without a proper introduction, how are we expected to take you seriously? Touché. He's a touché. By day, I'm the president and CEO of Detronet Company. But my greatest privilege is serving as supreme commander of the Meta Liberation Army, Reed Destro. We have chopped off your dear Giri's fingies and ceremoniously placed them at the site of every major quirk-related incident from the past year. Don't believe me? Check every news network in my pocket reporting on it now. One second, there's an ad. A classy lady who happens to have four arms. A dapper gentleman with a handsome coat of fur. This f***ing thing. These fine individuals once belonged to the minority. While mass production and consumer culture has been expanding since the Industrial Revolution, the acceleration of the extraordinary brought this carousel of progress to a screeching halt! Everyone is so unique now, diverse, valid! Businesses can't keep up to serve the needs of quirky individuals like you! Except for Detrimat, where the minority's business is our priority. For clothing, food, shelter, entertainment, and more! Because you literally have no other choice. Siri, skip ad. And then Carlson Carlson's sitting off. Aw, we missed it. We'll take your word for it if you just get to the point. The point, Hansy, is that the greatest threat to today's society is... Corporations! 
Too soon? Sorry, I spoiled the theme. It's okay, Toga. Bones already spoiled everything in this arc. The greatest threat to society is Hero Society. Your forebears all for one and overhaul were correct in identifying the problem, but not the solution. They resigned to a practical euthanasia of quirks, discriminate genocide, how offensive! My marketing team worked too hard in the term quirks to have it erased. It's cute, safe, politically correct, but most importantly, marketable. But do you know what we localized it to in Dear Nihon? Tokuten, meaning perks. It really just about sums it up, Pansy. Quirks were made for our benefit, and we were made to rule. Not under the oppression of society built upon flimsy, antiquated virtue, but the adaptable might of industry. All right, gang. I think we can rust his silver spoon in 30 minutes or less. Hell yeah! And maybe get some tips on synergy? That is what I'm betting on, Hansy! You will come and terrorize Detronat Town Plus before our army executes you live in front of a global audience desperate for a new authority on safety. And rest assured, there will be no heroes present. We're cocky, but not dumb enough to rush into a trap. Or exploit it for free publicity! Yeah, we want per diem! We already locked onto your location. Aw, oh, shit! Detronet phones are only programmed to break when a new model is released, and our 5G satellites are programmed to erase you like a spring break tramp stamp if you miss your curtain call. Relax, Daddy Warbucks. We're coming with our nooses pre-tied and pretty. Excellent. Be sure to pick up the new Detronet Phone 5 along the way. You don't give a damn about any of us, do you, Hans? <laughs> you catch all that, Doc? Yes. They fear the power of Gigantomachia and want you all eliminated before it awakens. Which is less than 20 minutes from now. Better not be late for our funeral. To what end, hands, bro? Like I once said, I destroy things so something better takes its place. And now, more than ever, society needs a better class of villain. How fitting that the stage of our battle shall be hell itself. The suburbs? Oi, keep moving, League of has We're splitting resources on a movie shoot at six. Dobby! You working for those bourgeois bozos at Detonet now? Work for Detonet? I worship Detonet. 170 hour part time factory work week with no benefits or bathroom breaks. These blokes are bringing pain and misery to the world at a whole new level. Pretty sure those factories supply top heroes like Endeavor. Like I was saying, fuck these knobs, League of Villains forever. Your fair weather enthusiasm will be sorely missed, Scrotum Quilt Man. Hey, I know this guy. I don't. Huh? All politicians look the same to me. Did he lose the election to that tape kid? I, uh, had the popular vote, but Scott had a stickier grasp on internet culture. And I have elected to never Pokemon Go unprepared again. To me, my sussy constituents. Free XP as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Maybe for you, handyman. But you're also standing on a wobbly platform. Your mutual struggle against our Liptards, trained to thrive as their most authentic selves. <laughs> All good stories start from the beginning, and I'm dying to know yours, Himiko Toga. Pass. Tsk tsk. So abhorrent to. <laughs> so abhorrent to structure that you won't even sit down for an interview? A completely normal girl. Honor student, pretty, popular, and then suddenly vanished as you have now. Why? And those skills, military grade. When did this change occur? Every meticulous detail, I must expose it to the world! All those superficial things were just a mask. To hide the truth? From whom? I care about your story, Toga. I believe your struggle could shake the world. Your true self forever immortalized in a headline. Nay, a hashtag! Is that not the ideal? The ideal is to love someone so much you leave a part of them inside of you forever. Drink their blood, wear their skin. The mask is so no amount of suppression therapy or military training can take them away. That's what the point of the mask is. Okay, some notes. First, we're gonna have to tone down the blood. That's yucky. As for the suppression therapy, 
I believe you. But I'd need a quote from the doctor. I could spend the rest of the queer bait, but yes! You'll be the perfect martyr for our cause. Yeah! You only want the parts of me you find beautiful. What you find useful for your agenda! Yes, tragic, isn't it? <laughs> it's my life! And like any quirk, it can be cute, ugly, or cruel. Just depends on who's using it. Your fear of death. No, your desire to be your true self. Unlocked your fullest potential? No. I desire to be more like the people I love. What a beautiful story. You twisted it into something so... We keep killing them, but their synergy is too strong. You ain't killed a single one, Mooch. Toga! Toga! Oh no, I've lost my moving buddy. Don't drag us all down on her account, bloke. It's kill or be killed. And I thought I was cold. Which is a shame, because underneath the hood, I'm actually quite hot. No, no, no. Keep your puns, your personal growth moments, and your bisexual panic to yourself, mate. We're just slapping mitts till the other gives if that pleases the court. Yachty mama! The fire's friendly, but it still hurts! I'm starting to think no one in this league likes each other, Toga. What tipped you off, Sherlock? But you like us right, Toga? Toga! Oh, heavens, you are a right mess. It's kinda hot. Shut up! But not you, Toga. Remember the handkerchief you gave me? Please wake up. Say anything! You're my bestest friend! Then what does that make of us? Shut up! You know what you did! Wait, that wasn't in my head, was it? Jin Hubba Bubba not f***ing with that name since we've seen enough butchery today. Unlike the rest of the week, you have value. We just need to reset that wounded soul back to the beginning. What are you doing to my friend Babai Gawara? Don't mind him, gopher boy. He's just following the instructions in your scouting reports. You did a fine job finding twice for us, Kieran. You should be proud. It's the only reason we've let you live this long. We'll kill Toga by twice his own hand, and he'll have nowhere to turn but us. Please stop. I'm getting uncomfortably aroused. Wait, what am I doing to Toga? I'm killing the girl who comforted me with her own handkerchief? Is that really me? Am I the real me? Tell me! Tell me! You're a good man, Jin. You were just born with rotten luck. It's not your fault your parents died in a villain attack. It's not your fault you can't hold a job in this economy. It's not your fault nobody respects a man who talks to himself. You got a good head on your shoulders. Several. You can take great care of yourself if you put your minds to it. You really think so? Of course, Jin. I mean, who can you trust if not yourself? Stop it! I wouldn't do that! Hmm. Yes, you would, virgin! You're sick, alone. <gasps> you'll do anything to belong, so you will kill this trash. Enjoy the side that rocks. We go to Tuscany once a year to boil ravioli. It's goat it to the sauce, man. No. I'm a good man. I've just got rotten luck, but at least one friend. And one head. And just one voice! Ah, cringe! I would never kill a friend, let alone a comrade. You called yourself an army? I'll show you an army! Libtards, help Mr. Skeptic! Just don't kill the duplicate. Or... How oh, heartwarming! Twice overcame his trauma to turn that covetous power against us! <laughs> One hundred thousand dollars for the person who brings me his head. Yoink! We're right here! Are we really? Oh, my wonderful best friends. Oh, my wonderful best friends. I never gave up hope. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for rescuing me. Oh. You have no collateral to threaten us with. Yeah, you want to strip on the body, mate? Oi, oi, oi. I'm still in charge, League of Villains. It's time for your employee review. And it's not a glowing one. We don't work for you. <laughs> but you do, Hansy. Real terrorism isn't destroying institutions, it's building them up. 
control the source of production of information and arm society with the means to subjugate themselves. You'd know this if you stopped playing pretend and saw the world for what it truly is. You're the one playing in a pretend world in your ivory tower, about to lose a pretend fight. Don't worry, my friends. Thanks to your efforts, I'm still alive. Okay, I'm really warming up to this guy. Where's his epic origin story? I'm gonna have to repeat that entire speech, aren't I? Spare me another trombone slide of a monologue and just die already. Stress work, son! I bottle my anger and convert it to maximum damage! Most of it reeked upon my hairline. Sheesh! How embarrassing to shed even a single follicle of a little shit like you. So tell me, Hansy, where does this wanton desire for destruction stem from? It took decades to fool the zeitgeist into embracing these dangerous powers we benefit from. So I have all the patience in the world to listen. So, start from the beginning. Redestro? Liberation Front? It's pre-9-11 America, Tenko, and all the commercials market toys to gross out your sister! Come on! My sister? That's right, Momo. She was never afraid to hold my hand. She was the closest thing in my childhood to real. Cause we're a nuclear family A threat to humanity Cold War pulls the show away From the annals of history Cause we're a nuclear family yeah! What did I say about having Play-Doh in the house? Mother, no! <laughs> His allergies are bad enough, Vasily. If I catch him playing hero again, they'll have to call a real one to save him from me. Are you threatening to beat your son for playing pretend? Yes. And no, it's only this fake family playing pretend. Shut up! Please, not in front of Momo. Momo is receptive enough to understand the situation. Just like her real father who cast us aside here. Scratching will only make it worse, my heart. But it itches! Your father sanitized every inch of this house, and I'm starting to think that's the cause. He's not my father. Tenko, why would you say that? He never cleans up Momo's messes. He never treats me like his kid. Tenko, my heart. Do you still want to be a hero? Yeah! All the kids at school let me be All Might because I'm brave Honest and kind like he is. <laughs> I know you hate it here too, Mother. I'll become a big, strong hero and take you away from him. Being a hero is hard, my heart. It's the hardest thing you can ever do. And sometimes it will make you do things that don't seem very heroic. But everything your parents did was for the love of you. As I love you, too. And I'll always be here for you. We was heroes, Tenko! Our family was the first! Our family was heroes? We'll escape here one day and become brother and sister heroes! Can you believe it, Toast? My real family was real heroes! My real father, my real mo- My real mother? Your real mother was a coward who abandoned her responsibilities. <laughs> so I got to go photo from your study and showed it to me. <laughs> Vasily, stop it! You suffer today because of her selfishness. The first man I ever loved, Yuri Yayorozu. He was brilliant, forthright, but not without his shadows to inherit. 
Among those inheritors was you, Vasily. But I preferred to raise you as my son. The best that I could, anyways. Hero and housework were two different battlefields, but you helped me grow in each. And our family grew with the twins. My heart and my soul, Tenko and Momo. They are not my blood. I owe them nothing. Family isn't blood, Vasily. Protect them, and love them as I love you. But when you're gone, who is going to love me? Oh, precious Vasily, I'll always love you, even when I'm gone. <sighs> this would be easier if you just hated me. If you raise another hand to those children, Yuri will have yours. Who even is Yuri anyways? Maybe I'm Yuri. We are all Yuri. You are his pet stray. I have made a grave mistake. You will apologize to them, and then you will say your goodbyes. They're my family. You can't keep them from me. <sighs> I can't take it anymore, Tuts. Everyone. 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 I hate them all. <gasps> <T-toast>! <gasps> Toast! Tinko. <gasps> I know you think Vasily treats me better, but he, he doesn't even let me pretend. Huh? What's wrong? away from here. Tenko? them in the end. Life isn't fair, is it? Yours is a disquieting reminder of hero society's failure, the same way it failed your real mother. Let's help each other bring this world to its senses and take our revenge. As for revenge... How am I supposed to see your mouth? Even... Breathe with these hands! The hands are a metaphor, Shigaraki. Also, your name's Shigaraki now. I, I trademarked it. I don't get it either. You can't shame the world with irony. You can't correct it through parody. The exploiters got their hands on those two. Oh, now I get it. Because the quirkless are the inferior race, and they can... Talk to the hands! <laughs> oh, got some! Shiggy, if you can only do one thing right, please kill this man after he served his purpose. It's all rotten beyond repair. You know what compels adults to quietly reject a child at the whims of a man who's not even real? He was the provider! The breadwinner! The system! But those are only material things that decay! Like all for one, overhaul, and all hero societies before you, you mistake justice for order. Justice is chaos! Not a society, not a business! J 
just a man and his best friend sticking it to him. What's a very dangerous thing to say? What if children were listening? It's only dangerous to whoever's in charge. So you're gonna use a power of friendship speech to condone anarchy? Of course not. Villainy is wrong, and the only right way to demolish a predatory system is to smile and work hard within that system. You're mocking me. I am a villain, after all! How are you enjoying your pre-massacre movie, Machia? Cinematic experience defined by audience. James Cameron, genius-like doctor. And genius <laughs> demands progress in that direction. Don't stop until your new master has proven himself. If this is about the movie, I'm not budging on that budget. They had a secret ass weapon the whole time, and it's bombing everyone out. Disconnected. Please upgrade to the Deternat Bone 7 Plus. Well, I wouldn't want to play chess with you. You know what kind of plan never fails? No plan. No plan at all. You winged this? You think I wanted to lose a hand? Don't underestimate a single one of these. That was fast. Okay, goodbye, I guess. We're getting ratioed out here, lads! And we're bitchless! You're not the only ones! We forgot Toka! You're not as smart or powerful as you think you are. You're just big. And like your tower, you'll make the most satisfying sound when you fall. I'm beginning to understand you now, Hansi. I inherited a destiny against my will, too. Yatsubashi, you must carry the burden of your ancestors' will and end hero society. Find some consolation in your five vacation homes and private chocolate slide. I'm just a cog in the greater machine. I could give away all my wealth today and be worth twice as much tomorrow. There's no fixing this. Tragic, but we're built different. I'm not gonna fix this world. I'm gonna destroy it! The good, the bad, and everything in between! Ooh. It's all rotten! <laughs> I'm in trouble, huh? <laughs> <laughs> much for my Joker moment. We got off on the wrong feet. <laughs> Let's start over. Fuck starting from the beginning. Let's finally see what the end looks like. Tonight at the Box News family not only learns the loss of one of our own, but also the residents of Deathbird Town Plus. In her detailed final posthumous report, Curious leaves us, most with the story of brave men and women armed with definite defense equipment, fighting off villains to the bitter end and preventing a greater disaster from spilling out to an unprepared and under-equipped population. She also leaves us with a hashtag, shame on you heroes, where were you in some world heroes mission? Grooming our children into spandex clad globalized soldiers while the sea of Deckner put his own life and limbs on the front lines, protecting our freedom on our own soil tonight. America, I'll leave you with one question. Who would you rather invest your safety to? Welcome, my libtards, to your new home and the new face of the Meta Liberation Army. Or shall I say, the Paranormal Liberation Front. Please stand proud and hail your new Grand Liberator, Hans. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, hail the very personification of death. To what defies our ideals? The one who will liberate this world from life itself! Hail! All for nothing! Hail! 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 Hail!
presence was truly inspiring today, Grand Liberator. So please, part of my sudden improvisation on the rebranding. I don't care what brand you slap on it, clown. So long as I don't smell a hint of irony on it. Excellent! I'll update the Twitter banner! <laughs> that man is utterly broken. He's not the only one. How kind of redestrial bias this mansion we slaughtered all those Nazis in! Kind of ironic is what it is, bro. Come oh. off it, mate. New league or front or whatever this is now, if there's one goal I have for it, it's for my friends to never become what we fought against. We brought up some killer problems today, bros, but didn't solve a single one. Coat more, lizard lips. Villains ain't supposed to solve problems, we're supposed to make them. Otherwise, we ain't villains. Yes, you're right. If our life was a manga, well... <laughs> I'd still be rather reading One Piece. Almost happy Toga wasn't here to witness our rise and fall into a Twilight Flaw trope. I didn't die, dummy! Man, you'd think overcoming trauma would mellow a guy out. Hawkscoon! <laughs> and just where have you been, Kid Kookaburra? I was keeping the heroes preoccupied per the Grand Liberator's request. It's a real funny story if you got the time. Infinito! You are but one more annoying thorn on my side. <laughs> what a relief this all ends soon. Theory! Skip script! <laughs>